everybody. Hello from Londonist again. Uh, today we're at Holland Park again. Uh, I live very close to this place, so I'm very lucky to be able to exercise in this park. This is one of the best parks in London. Um, I definitely recommend you, if you have time, please, when it's when the shutdown is over, just come and see Holland Park. Um, so today we're going to talk about 10 essential habits of positive people. I, myself, <laughs> um, I think I'm very positive because I, I feed myself with positivity. Um, and uh, I really wanted to talk about this because these 10 things are really, really the key to that energy, I believe. And especially in these kind of times, if you, if under struggle, in, if under pressure, if you can manage positivity, and then in your best days, you're gonna be even better. So let's start with the first. Positive people don't confuse with quitting and letting go, like sticking and holding on to what's not serving them anymore. Uh, they just know that it's not healthy. So instead of holding on to beliefs, ideas, or even people that are no longer healthy for them, they just know how to trust their own judgments and let go of the negative forces in their lives. Just let it go. <laughs> So positive people don't just have good days, they make their good days. So life's my, what you make it exactly. And I think uh, positive people are in the frequency of knowing that they create their own reality or thought systems or beliefs. It creates our own reality. Wishing, hoping, praying during the day and thinking about the positive sides uh, and not being reactive to life but being proactive to life uh, a lot of the positive people I know and for me too as well uh, you just know that you can make your day better so let's not be reactive to what's happening and we got to be more proactive with what we want and what we wish for and what we hope for so show me a positive person I can show you a great grateful person uh, as I believe a grateful heart is a magnet for miracles because the maths in it is that if you keep on focusing on what you could be thankful for, then it, it enhances them. Whatever you focus on, that is you enhancing that thought and that reality actually. So a grateful person is always more open to new miracles, new experiences and is more excited about life and more curious so it's more likely for them to discover new and better things. So instead of being stuck in their limitations, positive people uh, often are energized by the possibilities instead of limitations. So when there is a bad situation, uh, optimistic people tend to know and see that there is a perfect solution for every problem in the world. So they're more energized and they're more curious by the possibilities uh, of what they can discover new. So sometimes the burdens in our life just make us realize new ways of solutions. So positive people do not let their fears interfere with their lives. Uh, they have mostly observed that fear is actually an illusion. It happens here. And that warrior soul, which sees beyond fear, and they know that if they limit themselves, define the situation with their fears, then uh, they will never be able to live life fully. So they know that fear is a limitation and an illusion. So they don't, even if they get scared, scared, they don't carry it away with that emotion. They know how to put up with that. So positive people smile a lot. Uh, they smile a lot and that smile makes the momentum and it also enlightens the other people. They, uh, that smile, when you're feeling positive inside, makes you see the humor and makes you not take it too seriously when it's about yourself and see the humor in the ego. So positive people tend to have uh, a lot of self-respect, but they never also take themselves too seriously. So people who are positive are great communicators because they already know, they observed that real communication, if you want to connect with one another, there is only one way that is being confident, assertive and authentic with yourself because uh, you have to be you have to risk being open if you want a heart-to-heart -heart connection so that's why they're good communicators 
They don't communicate reactively to angry communications, uh, but they know they shouldn't change their energy according to the negativities. So they keep their confidence and be great communicators. So positive people, of course, they know that there is a dark side to life because if you don't experience sadness, then you would never truly know what happiness feels like. You wouldn't know the worth of the opposite emotion. So positive people, uh, there is a misunderstanding about positive people that it may look like they're always happy and they should always be happy if they're positive. But actually, the mathematic of life is uh, balanced on dark and light together and positive people are very aware that uh, struggles, sadness, all kind of emotions bring depth to life. A positive person is an empowered person. Uh, positive people generally know uh, that being supportive and not being destructive uh, and not blaming life or others uh, and not feeling like victims, um, they know that uh, you can be constructive, productive, uh, and not destructive. So they know how important support and safety is. Uh, that's how they generally behave with others and with themselves. As cliche as it all sounds, trust me, these are the essential habits of a positive person. I have tested and I really can see it on myself and on my energy. These are very basic things, but keep these in mind and try to remind yourself to be grateful. And I believe once you're in that momentum of positivity, it's an endless road to life. And even in the darkest days, that kind of humor is going to come to you. I'll see you in the next video of Londoners. I had really a lot of fun with this heart to heart conversation. I'll see you in the next video.